Thank you. All right now at five, police are looking for the three suspects who ruthlessly robbed a child and her family at gunpoint Monday night, right outside of their front door in Hickory Hill. Oh, that's right. Memphis police say one of the three suspects ran up behind a 34-year-old man and pointed a gun at his back, robbing him, his wife, and their seven-year-old child. Our Stephen Pimpo has more on what happened. But this is one of the most atrocious acts I've heard of involving a child, robbing a child at gunpoint. It's unheard of. That's how Benny Cobb, who spent close to 45 years in public safety and law enforcement, including Memphis police and the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, summed up the state of crime in Memphis after a seven-year-old girl and her family were robbed at gunpoint. Years ago, those who victimized children and old people Miss swift justice from the inmates at the jail. That was just a known fact. MPD says they were called to the Hickory Grove apartment complex Monday night. A 34-year-old man told them it was just after 9 p.m. when he and his family, a 23-year-old woman and 7-year-old girl, were getting out of the car to go up to their apartment. That's when someone came up behind him and put a gun to his back. Cobb says the only thing to do in that situation is comply especially with a child in harm's way. You put a child, a innocent child in the mix. Not only are these parents or these adults complaining, but they are praying, they are praying for their, for their child. The three suspects pictured here escaped with the man's wallet, passport, a gym bag, and his daughter's backpack, which had her iPhone and toys inside. It's going to take a while for this family to recover from this, this horrible crime. But it's going to take even longer, maybe a lifetime, for this child to recover or get back to some semblance of being a child again. In Memphis, I'm Stephen Pimpo. All right, Stephen, thank you.